Making this incredible Korean style short rib sandwich is one of the easiest thing to make sous vide. And at the same time, it packs a huge amount of flavor. Everything starts with this weird looking marinade. Doesn't look appetizing, doesn't have a great color, but let me tell you something. The flavor is really what you should care about. Because I'm using a very special ingredient. This is Asian pear. Now if you are unable to find it, you can always use regular pear as well. Here's what makes this marinade so easy. Everything goes into the blender. Blend everything well until it's 100% liquefied. Throw in some ginger, followed by garlic, chives, honey, black pepper, salt, sesame oil, brown sugar, and finish it off with soy sauce. As always, remember exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Once you blend everything well, your marinade is done. Now this looks horrible, but like I mentioned previously, it tastes incredible. And it's perfect to go along with some meat. And for today, I chose short rib. As you can see, these are four bones short rib plate. They are a lot easier to work with sous vide. And one of the things I like to do first is to to go ahead and score the fat. This will allow the marinade to penetrate nicely in the meat, at the same time allowing the fat to render nicely. Talking about rendering, by the time we're done cooking this sous vide, you're not going to be able to sear it, so we might as well do it right now. And for that, my flamethrower does quick work on it. Like I always say, you are basically painting with fire. Because once you are done, take a look at this. Perfectly seared, a nice wonderful char flavor is going to come out of this, and most importantly, we got that fat nice and golden brown. The only thing left to do now is to put them in the bag and add our marinade. Then you want to vacuum seal it and it is now ready for sous vide. That's perfect because it allows us time to go ahead and make some condiments. And the first one is going to be these beautiful roasted bell peppers. As you can see, I'm getting them nice and charred. That's exactly what you're looking for. So don't be afraid to completely burn them. Because once you have done so, you want to throw them in a bowl and close them up in clinch plastic so they can steam. That is one of the easiest way to roast bell peppers. One other thing that I recommend you doing to take your bell peppers to a whole new level is this. You see this is just little pieces of garlic mixed together with some olive oil. It is freeze dry garlic. Not only are they as good as fresh garlic, they are way more convenient and to put it together is just like I told you. A little bit of good quality olive oil together with that freeze dry garlic. Mix everything well because that's it. As I did that it was perfect because my bell peppers are fully steamed. And take a look at it. The only thing I have to do is to peel out the skin. And that is super easy to do. Then you want to go ahead and cut them into a small sandwich strips. Because once you are done, take a look. That is what you should be left with. To preserve them, I threw in a little bit of salt into the mason jar. Then I added all of my bell peppers. Once you are done, the only thing left to do is to cover the whole thing with a good quality olive oil. Because that is how easy it is to make these roasted peppers. The next thing to do is to make an amazing sauce. And this one is really nice. You see, it is a kimchi mayo. It's perfect to go along with the Korean short ribs. And here's how to make it. Into my food processor, I threw in a good amount of kimchi. Blend everything well until it was nice and chopped up. Then I added 4 tablespoons of mayo and 1 of Dijon mustard. Mix everything well and my kimchi mayo was done. And this is delicious. Add it to anything you want. It's fantastic even in salads. However, the main goal is to make that Korean short rib incredible. Talking about that, I'm gonna be cooking it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. And hopefully this thing will be extremely tender, but most important, perfect for that sandwich. I gotta be honest with you everybody, sous vide is the best way to cook ribs. Regardless if it's pork ribs or a short ribs, beef ribs, it does not matter. If you're doing it on the grill, you gotta manage that fire to make sure that it's perfect. With sous vide, set it and forget it. It's almost like doing nothing. It is cheating the system. Don't believe me? Watch. I'm hungry, it is ready, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. I wish you could smell it. That marinade smells so wonderful, everybody. It is phenomenal. Since it's fully cooked, we already got a nice, beautiful sear. I got my bell peppers ready to go as well. The only thing left to do is to put the sandwich together and enjoy it and see how good it actually is. So now I say, I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this.
All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today, Momo. It's looking good, but it smells like an amazing Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue, really? It smells yes. like that? Try it. Tell me if it is. Oh. <laughs> Good. Huh? Try it. Try this the meat. Oh my god. What, <laughs> what kind of meat is this? Short rib. Wow. It's, it, it tastes amazing, but it feels different. Yeah, it feels different because usually you do it with a ribeye or any kind of meat, you know. Or, or you can also do it with a short rib, but not this kind of texture when you usually oh do god. Korean barbecue. How is it, Mama? Huh? It's amazing. Huh? I'm about to grab a oh. I'm about to grab some lettuce over there right now. It is heaven on earth. Why why don't you do that? That's why I put it here. Oh. Now, usually in Korean barbecue, you eat, you know, uh, the meat together with uh, lettuce or anything else. But I wanted to make it a sandwich today. You know what I mean, yeah. Mama? Something okay, different. That's what we're doing right there. Oh, oh Mama's not even waiting. Go for it. No oh. sauce, no nothing. Yeah, Mama? Oh. <laughs> Don't hmm? need anything. Don't need oh anything. God. You okay, Omar? The book, I gotta tell you, I'm 100% for this kind of experiment. <laughs> you like this experiment? Yes, actually. <laughs> actually, yes. Well, Omar's going for the second one with the sauce, huh? With I, the sauce. Now. I'll go with the sauce too, because you, you, I'm talking too much. Okay, you ready, Omar? Let's go. Cheers, everybody. No. No. <laughs> that is amazing with the sauce, oh my even God. without the sauce. Ooh. Now, here, try with this. This right here is a bell pepper that I roasted, fire roasted with the flamethrower. Then I put a little bit of garlic and olive oil on it. That is one of my favorite things to eat right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. 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 That's delicious. That is amazing. It tastes so good. He adds a little bit of sweetness, mm -hmm. a little bit of soft crunchiness to it. Yep, that is amazing. That is amazing. Now I have to go for the sandwich. <laughs> yes, the sandwich. If you are in a keto diet, this is perfect. Perfect. But we're no keto diet over here, buddy. Now here's what I'm most interesting on. Uh -huh. Is it better to eat it separated like this or on a sandwich? Mama, you're falling all over the place. Falling. <laughs> okay, enough. Because I want to know how the sandwich tastes. Right. With the bread. You ready for this? Let's do this. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Come on now. Mm -hmm. The meat is perfect. The meat is kind of fatty, right? Because it's short rib. Mm -hmm. So when you put it together in the bun, the bun absorbs that fattiness, everybody. And the combination of all the ingredients together. Top notch. Because of the bread, it tastes a little bit less like Korean barbecue. I agree. It's diluting. It's not that it's not there. It's just diluting. It's just bit. too much combination there. Exactly. If you want to really taste the Korean barbecue, then you just eat it by itself. Don't mind if I do. Huh? <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is fantastic. I hope you give it a try. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.